Coming up next, it's a UFC welterweight division matchup. the decorated kickboxer back for more here tonight and he's so comfortable in the striking realm it's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing oh it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress i know when you're in kickboxing range you are in the fire there is no safety you're right in range to be getting knocked out but he does not fear that he loves it he loves the com he loves the combat he loves the engagement but what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their turn. He's doing it on his turn. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker. One of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. All right, well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with a beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, so, most people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, the Flash. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Austin, Texas, Haymaker. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean, our third man in the octagon for this one. Ready. Ready to fight. All right, so two truly elite strikers here. We sat down with them on Thursday and asked them, any thoughts of taking this fight to the ground? They want to strike. They want to strike. That's what got them to the show. That is the path that they are normally on. And tonight, they get someone that allows them to fight in their comfort zone. They don't have to worry about the defending takedowns. All they have to worry about is who can rely on their knowledge in the striking to carry them to victory. Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. Switching stances here. Oh, and he caught the kick. Big punch from the clinch. Another one. Yep. Oh, and the left hand. Ooh, big shot land. And they are exchanging leather early. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Can't take many of those, you better check. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Down to three minutes now to go on the round. Oh, nice job by him to get the knee to the target there, using his length exceptionally well tonight. Whoa. Oh, this fight's gonna be over. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He did stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low. And now he's got to hurt very badly. Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. Watch for big knees to the body. And eventually him switch it up with a big knee to the head. Oh, and there's a land with the kick. So certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. Nice right punch followed by a left. Just misses there with the left. 
good stick. Checks that leg kick. Oh, and the Superman punch is good. Throws the right hand there. Going back to his patented kicks here, but unable to find the target there. A oh, little single collar tie there. Right hand punch to the clinch. And now he's got the tie clinch. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Straight punch lands. That's as good a punch as he's thrown on up. The punch that lands down the middle, the one that you don't appeal, is the one that lands perfect. And that one landed perfect. Round two next. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last one. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. Won that last round. This round, you want to keep mixing things up. Use your punches, use your knees, use your kicks. I want to see you work. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh! Oh! He's to fight this far. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. If you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop. you got to defend. But you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. All right, trying to pass here. As Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. And he's back up. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jet. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC. Oh! He's hurt. Throw him up. Go get him. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Try to establish that jab. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, big left hook there. for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is called to stop to this contest at three minutes, 44 seconds of round number two. Going the winner by knockout, Haymaker! And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? Yeah. But you knock out a man in a cage fight, I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands. 
that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, he got that done. And he should be very proud of the work he and his coaches got done tonight. Have a dose of what I've achieved and get lonesome and I critique who I am and what I believe make up standards too high to reach. I'm saying damn.